Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you. We made it to the end of another week. That in itself is enough to give God praise wherever you are because he is just good like that. I pray you guys received sweet sleep last night, woke up with bells and whistles on and ready to take on this new day, a day that we have never seen before and a day we show sure enough will never see again. But it is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey there, Heartbeat Melodia, Heartbeat Bernice, Heartbeat Rodney, Heartbeat Carolyn, Heartbeat Dalitha, Heartbeat Eva, Heartbeat Anita. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all and welcome to the gathering of hearts on this morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness aka the heart gatherer and this morning your daily dosage is watch your mouth part five we are closing out the series watch your mouth hey heartbeat alicia and heartbeat belinda and so we started out um this series talking about our mouths can literally block the blessings from god that sometimes it is not god's delay that it is simply our mouth that we've got to learn to filter what we allow to come out of our mouths. You know, we have the great example of the children of Israel who wandered around in the wilderness for 40 years and it did not have to take that long. A journey that really should have taken uh, a little less than two weeks uh, based on the distance that they were going. But it took them 40 years all because of their murmuring and because of their complaining and being disgruntled. Hey there, Heartbeat Lewis. Welcome, Heartbeat Lewis, to the daily dosage in the morning. Y'all, shout out Heartbeat Lewis. This is his first time on with us live. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, Heartbeat Yolanda. And so getting back to the children of Israel, they wandered around in the wilderness for 40 years, something that should not have taken that long, but because of their mouths, they were there. And so we went over, you know, the dangers of... Um, being disgruntled, the, the dangers of complaining and the dangers of murmuring. And then we started out with the alternative to complaining. Go back and check out um, our um, YouTube uh, channel so that you can get you know, all of the things that you may have missed, but the alternatives to complaining. So we started out yesterday, yesterday saying, hey, heartbeat, Yvonne, uh, we started out yesterday saying adversity presents an opportunity to learn a new praise. And then we follow that up with praise God for his goodness. And so today, another alternative, which we know the alternative is praise. But here's another reason to praise God for number three, praise God for his presence. God is always with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. So instead of complaining, instead of murmuring, Instead of being disgruntled, begin to praise God for his presence. Hey, heartbeat Val, because he will never leave you nor forsake you. Hey, heartbeat Christine. Hey, heartbeat Cliff. When you call, um, God always answers because he's a very present help. So let's look at Psalm 139 on this morning. And I'm reading it out of the message version. Again, we want to praise God for his presence. It says this, God investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you. Even from a distance, you know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave, you know when I get back. I'm never out of your sight. And so when you listen to this psalm here, how God is ever present, that is enough to praise him that no matter what you're going through, you're never alone. I'm going to say that again. No matter what you're going through, you're never alone. It says, you know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence, hey there, heartbeat, and that I look behind me and you're there, then up ahead and you're there too. Your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. 
Think about that. His presence is reassuring that everything is going to be all right. You know, when you think about the presence and you know that his presence is always with you, you begin to sing that song. I know my identity. My name is victory because as long as God is with me, I'm never alone. I'm always going to be successful. I'm always going to be victorious. Why? Because he is with me. It goes on to say, is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit, to be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you'd find me in a minute. When you think about the presence of God that you cannot get out of his sight, this reassures me that I can't self-destruct. He's not going to allow that to happen. So get this. It says this. You'll find me in a minute. You're already there waiting. When you think about how good God is, it goes back to his goodness. Another reason to praise him, that his presence is always with you, that he's always waiting to hear from you. He's always waiting to spend time with you, that he wants to be in your presence and he wants you to be in his. It says, as then I said to myself, oh, he even sees me in the dark at night. I'm immersed in the light. It's a fact. Darkness isn't dark to you. Night and day, darkness and light, they're all the same to you. Think about that, that even in your darkest hour, that is never too dark for God, that even in your dirtiest moment, it's never too dirty for God, that he loves you so much that he will never, ever leave you alone. He said, even in the darkest hour, that night and day is the same to him, that he does he doesn't care where you are. He doesn't care what state he may find you in. He's never going to leave you. He's never going to leave you to the devourer. He's never going to leave you to himself, to yourself. It says this, verse 13, it says, oh yes, you shaped me first inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God. Glory to God. You're breathtaking. Body and soul. I am marvelously made. When you think about how good God is, that body and soul inside out, he took the time to create you. You with all your flaws. You with all your faults. But it did not matter to him. Because when he looks at you, he sees you faultless. And he sees you flawless. That he sees you made in his image that you are marvelous to him marvelously marvelously made he's it says this i worship glory to god in adoration what a creation you know me inside and out you know every bone in my body you know exactly how i was made bit by bit how i was sculptured glory to god from nothing to something that you took all my dirtiness and you took all my mess and you made it into something that you love me so much that you will not leave me you will not forsake me glory to god He's, it says this like an open book you've watched me grow from conception to birth all the stages of my life were spread out before you the days of my life all prepared before I even lived one day. Glory to God. That right there will make you, it ought to make you praise God that he mapped out your life even before you could live one day. Who would serve a God like that? That he loves you so, so much. He, he, he truly is a good, good father that he loves you so much that even before you lived out one day, he already had mapped it out. He already had assured, he was always already assured that you would do great things for him. He already knew the trials. He already knew the tribulations. He already knew knew the hardship that you would face, but he also knew that he would never leave you, that you would make it, that you would be victorious in this thing, that you
you would be an overcomer, that you would, that it would end in a praise for you, that your tears may have started out sorrowful, but they will end with joy because he is a great, great father, because he is a good, good God. You ought to praise him for his presence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The last one is, hey there, heartbeat LaShonda. The last one is, praise God for your victorious outcome. That through it all, you end with a praise. Through it all, you end with your hands up in victory. Through it all, you giving God a praise because once again, he did it. He did it again. He did it again. Glory to God that that will be your testimony. He did it again. So no matter what you're facing, you've got to know that God has a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11 reminds us that I know the plans I have for you that they are plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a future and to give you hope. And so you praise God for the victorious outcome because you know it ends in a praise, because you know it ends being mm -mm good, because you know that you win, because you know that you could never fail, because you serve a God that is ever present. You serve a God that always answers. And here is the real good part that I love. He doesn't answer because he has to. He answers because he wants to. He wants to come to your rescue. He wants to see you win. He wants to see you victorious for you are his child and you are his people and he is your God. He is your father. So that alone would make you praise God. Praise him because he's God. Praise him because he's good. Praise him because he's a sovereign one. Praise him because because he's our mighty redeemer. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Simply praise him because he is God. Glory to God. Well, that is the daily dosage for today. That is the way we close out. Watch your mouth. Make sure that your mouth is always giving up praise. Make sure your mouth is always giving up worship. Make sure your mouth is always coming into agreement with the word of God. Make sure your mouth is not having curses come out of it one day and blessings come out of it another because that is not God but you want to always make sure that you are using your mouth to exalt the high and most high God you want to make sure that your mouth is always lifting him you want to make sure your mouth is always giving a testimony about his goodness about his mercy about his grace about his presence about just how good he is to you if if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so because there you will find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms, God Wants Me Whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God Wants Me Whole, and I am glory to God. Hallelujah. That felt good saying that. God Wants Me Whole, and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Make sure you have a spec while amazing day look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you i will see you guys back here on this platform on tuesday morning enjoy your holiday if not i will see you on sunday morning it's sunday sunday is coming make sure you are in the place sunday morning at 10 o'clock all the information for the location is on our social media platforms on the website so if i I don't see you on Sunday morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will see you back on this platform at 7.30 on Tuesday. Again, make it spec while amazing. I love you guys a bunch. In fact, hug yourself real tight. That is from me. That is the love that I have for you. Make it spec while amazing, Harvey Nation. See you soon.